My name is Sean Orr, I'm an engineer at the Fredericks Company, and I'm going to show you a demo of the new MX200. So we'll start by powering up the unit. And once the unit is powered up, the measurement screen will display. So to exit the measurement screen, we can press the home key or the left key. And there you saw a display with eight stations set to display, which is the maximum for this unit. So let's reduce that to four by going into the global setup and then measurement screen menus. And just hit enter on each of these to turn them off. And from any of the external screens, you can press the home key to return to the measurement screen. So here you see the four channel display. And we'll go back into global setup again and measurement screen to reduce this to the two channel display. And then we'll get into this menu one more time and set it to one channel display. And then finally, there's an additional feature on the MX200 which allows you to turn off all of the measurements on the measurement screen and then you'll see this display and this is effective for uh, situations where you have the MX200 hooked up to a PLC and you don't want the user comparing the front panel readings to the readings on their PLC. So let's back out of here again, go down to the channel setup. So let's look at the channel setup for a 4A. Here you can again turn the display for the measurement screen on and off by pressing the enter key. Now you can change the gas type for this sensor. For example, let's change it to neon. And you can see that the setting changes here. Go back, and you can see again that that's still saved here. Um, each sensor also has a standard or high resolution setting, so this will adjust the number of digits that are displayed on the measurement screen. So this one's currently set to standard. Let's change it to high. Go back out. And then the analog output. So here you can select. Uh, these are going to be variable depending on the sensor type. But for the 4A, let's select log. Go back out. Then we can set the high and low value exponents. So I can adjust this up and down uh, as long as this number is within three decades of the uh, low value. So let's press enter to save that, and you can see here that that's saved uh, in the memory of the unit. Lastly, we can restore all defaults. So there's a check here, just in case you accidentally enter the screen. So if you hit enter on yes, it's going to change everything back to the standards uh, for this sensor. So for the 4A, it's displaying uh, the gas is nitrogen or air. Resolution is standard, and analog output is linear. Next, let's take a look at the calibration screen. Again, we'll go to the 4A. So, apologize, the 4A. And here you'll see that there are four optional calibration points. Let's look at 70 Tor. So, we put a warning in here to say, you know, if you do this, you're going to void your factory calibration, whether it's NIST or standard. Uh, so you have to hit enter to continue. And you can adjust the calibration value up and down. And this value is going to range from negative 99 to 99. And the reading uh, as the calibration is changed is displayed directly above it. So once you're in this screen, if you want to save the value, you can press enter or if you want to exit without saving, you can press the left key or the home key. So we'll save this value. And then we'll go back into the 70 tour point and you can see that the negative seven value is saved. So let's back out of this again and move on to the global setup. So we were in here before, you can adjust what uh, channels are displaying by hitting enter on any of the channels to toggle it between on and off. Uh, we can here also adjust the units, so the options are Pascal, Tor, Millibar, uh, Tor Decimal, and Millitor. So these are explained in more detail in the manual if you want to review them. Uh, we 
gas settings. So this is basically a quick way, uh, without going through the channel setup and looking at each channel, to set up just the gas setting. So I can go into channel 3, for example, which is a 2A, and adjust it to helium. Let's back out of this again. Next is the communications. So this unit has a standard uh, communications card in it. The options are USB, RS-45, and RS-232. Uh, the default setting when we ship the unit is USB. Um, you can customize that though uh, when you order the unit. So let's just leave it as USB for now. Um, so then we can go into the settings for USB and we can adjust the baud rate. And this is going to be important when you're trying to hook it up to a PC to do any of the communications or troubleshooting. Uh, lastly, let's go to the cold cathode. So there are two modes for the cold cathode. It's either auto or manual. So auto is going to use the rough vacuum sensor, a 2A or a 4A most likely, to turn on or off the cold cathode. And then you can hit enter on this to switch it to manual. So when it's in manual, you have to manually go into either the even stations or the odd stations and turn them on or off. And this is done again by pressing the enter key to toggle them on and off. So the last thing that we added to this unit uh, that's new is the switch point for the cold cathode. So previously there was a hard switch point of 10 millitor or 10 microns. Um, now this value is adjustable from 1 to 50 microns. So you can see here we're adjusting the value up and down. All right. So let's back out of this. We'll save that value. So the last uh, menu that we'll look at is the set points. So you can enter, this unit has a single uh, relay set point board attached to it. So there are four set points available. You can go in, first you have to assign a channel to it. So let's select channel two, for example. So now channel two is saved for set point one and back out. And then you can go into the on and off values for the set point. And you can use the left and right keys to scroll between digits, and then the up and down arrows to adjust the value. Um, if you want to exit without saving, you can hit the home key, or if you'd like to save the value, press enter. And this can be done for all of the set points uh, individually. Lastly, uh, this is more of a troubleshooting screen, but you can see all of the version information for the unit. So the display version number, soft, uh, the logic version number, uh, our company website, and a phone number to contact us if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video.